Hey guys, it's Dustin. So I am a senior in high school and fastly approaching is graduation, the end of my high school career. And going into high school, I thought it was gonna be the best four years of my life. I thought I was gonna make so many friends, I was gonna go on all these adventures and have all these life-changing experiences. But I quickly found out that high school is definitely romanticized by media. Just the whole idea of high school isn't as magical as it is portrayed. So high school hasn't been this awesome, crazy experience with a bunch of these movie moments that you see and I can't help but feel that I missed out. So I thought I would make a weekend and turn it into the romanticized idea of high school. At least the best and closest as I can. I'm talking going to school and having this fun day with all these friends, hanging out with friends and going on an adventure, like going shopping or going to a drive-in movie, going on those late night drives where you kind of just vibe to music, just sticking your head out of the window and just like screaming at the top of your lungs, going to high school parties, just the whole shebang. So I kind of jam-packed a weekend with some of these elements so I can at least have one weekend that lives up to the expectation that we all had going into high school. Basically, I tried making the romanticized version of high school a reality. Let's get started. Stay to a midterms. I have dance today and I'm leaving at 10 and then I'm in gym clothes because I'm going to the gym after this because I like multitasking. I'm literally praying that they cancel school on Monday. And if they don't, I don't get why. I'm quitting. They're being dramatic. But if you're going to cancel after school events, then cancel Cancel school. everything. It's not like coronavirus is like non-existent between 7 a.m. and 3 p.m. <laughs> and it's after like... 3 p.m., that's when shit gets crazy. That's okay, so that's when literally. corona gets crazy. Why is there so much activity out here this morning? Like this yeah. car? Yeah. I love that car. I, everyone so loves cool. that car. It's so nice. Wait, oh, wow. Look, look at that. Outside, this bitch is <laughs> Wait, guys, look at the oh, whole squad. <laughs> That's funny. I'm just like videoing the whole squad. Oh no, I can do it. I got this. Because this is what's going on out here this We're morning. Like, oh, I'm nervous. You have a better angle. Oh, wow. We look so okay, stupid. 7.38. Now it's time to go to school. Yeah, take me to. I don't want to do it. Uh, oh my god, you guys are so cool. Let's make a TikTok. I just finished with school, it's now 10 a.m. I was only at school for like two hours because it's midterms. So today I only had two periods. I only had dance day because I have fourth period off. So it's like dance and then fourth period off. So get to leave early. I'm going to the gym right now. Might as well be productive, multitask. We're already wearing gym clothes, wore to school. Had to be in clothes to be able to dance in. Gotta fight off that corona, baby. Speaking of that, I've seen a lot of videos lately showing you how to properly wash your hands for like teenagers and adults. And I'm like, what were you guys doing before? We're not little kids. Were you guys not washing your hands? Do you guys not know how to wash your hands properly? Or were y'all just not washing your hands in the first place? Cause that's nasty, y'all nasty. Wash your damn hands. Not even because of corona. You should already be washing your, anyways. <laughs> I decided to make some make some food for breakfast. I had literally a leftover hamburger so healthy So I decided for lunch I need to eat a little bit healthier just because for breakfast I don't have that much time So I just grab whatever I can and just eat as fast as I can before school I think eating something is better than nothing for breakfast Obviously, it's better if I actually cook like a healthy breakfast, but you know, you got to do what you got to do. I'm a high school student 
We on the go. This is my first time ever cooking butternut squash and I kind of killed it. Oh, fell out of my fork. Or I'll prepare snacks already. Like I've been making chia seed pudding. Chia seed pudding has been my thing lately. With some bananas on top with honey. Fire. We just went thrifting and I didn't find anything. So now we went and got some frozen yogurt. We're gonna finish this and then we're gonna go to another thrift store and meet with some of my friends. No way, closing for a month. Ready to throw over? Ready to throw over? It's a tortilla. We're not really watching mean? a movie. Wait, look at until us. Until Dustin interrupted with this. <laughs> I look like that. Oh, like Mabel's boyfriend in Gravity Falls when he was like. Oh my God. I'm just the a zombie. Loser. Loser. Yeah. 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 Wait. Dustin, do you know yeah. how to cuddle? Yeah. 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 I just recorded yeah. all of that. Yeah. I think I tried to cuddle and he like got all uncomfy. Right now we're 
after the movie. I've never had an internet with people in it. It's Saturday night, and I'm about to go to a Saint Patch. I love being able to speak. A Saint's pa Saints a Saint Patrick's Day party. Why is that so hard to say? Oh my God! This is my second ever high school party that I'm going to. And if you guys watched my high school party video, you guys would know that I recently learned I'm not a party type person, or not a high school party type person, because I don't drink, I don't do drugs, I don't really do anything. So at a party, I kind of am just sitting there. But I feel like in high school movies, they're always going to high school parties, or high school parties are always somehow related to it. So for the sake of this video, I'm going. And also, I feel like I need to get out of my comfort zone and talk to new people people and just make new friends, I don't know, just be social because I'm literally isolated in my room all the time. So I just got here at the party, I'm not, I didn't even go in yet. When I was driving here, what popped in my brain was, oh my god, what if I find the love of my life tonight? And that's how much of a hopeless romantic I am. And I think that just proves it. Like every time I go to an event, I'm like, oh my god, what if I find like the love of my life? What if like a movie moment happens? And my expectations get so high. And then obviously I know, like my brain, logically, I know nothing's gonna happen. It's just gonna be a boring night that isn't memorable. And I know having high expectations, I'm gonna be disappointed. But my stupid self keeps creating these high expectations for no reason and it's just so dumb. Okay, I'm gonna go in now. All my friends are already there. I'm late. Either way, I know I'm gonna get bored and leave early. Um, that's why I showed up late. So at least I showed up late and I'm um, leaving a little early. Does that make sense? Like I'm evening it out so I don't feel like a prick. Okay, I'm gonna go. Let's go. Sit. I'm literally just gonna be sitting, but okay. Well, let's go like that. <laughs> put it, how do I put it? Okay, let's not. Okay. <laughs> Look my eyes, they're green. For the occasion. Guess what? I stepped in wrong. Again. Like last time, again. I just did that. Come on, let's kiss him on the same time. No, no, no. There's a dude behind a bush. Behind him. No, he didn't. What is he doing? Oh, fuck, he's like coming. So, um. I think I'm sitting. Should we go back and investigate? No! No, that was too fast. Oh, of course no, I'm gonna go back. I'm back from the party. It is 12.30 a.m. and I'm eating some chia seed pudding. Wearing some PJs, all comfy, and let's, let's talk. Surprisingly, I lasted at the party for like two hours. And if you know me, that's pretty good. I honestly thought I would just last 30 minutes and then just dip. It was honestly like the last time I was bored, sitting, doing nothing, barely talked to anybody. I talked to my friends a little bit, but even then I literally sat on the couch on my phone scrolling through Twitter. Parties are so boring if you do not drink. Like if you're not drinking, there's honestly nothing to do except sit there and maybe talk to people but I did talk to three new people I told myself I would talk to new people tonight and I did three people 
growth. I probably won't go to another party for a while because it's such a waste of time for me. I literally just go because I feel like I have to because I'm a senior in high school and I feel like I need to experience new things and get out there. Like I have to accept every opportunity I can to live that romanticized high school lifestyle. Even though it's such a huge waste of time because I'm literally just standing there doing nothing when I could be working or doing something productive or playing music or just chilling in my bed. I can do that in the future. I feel like this is the prime time for me to just do whatever and just do what I want even if I'm bored still get out of my comfort zone and stuff you know this is probably as close as I'm gonna get to a weekend like in the high school movies to an extent it's not gonna be super magical and stuff because this is the real world hopefully you guys enjoyed me striving to get that romanticized version of high school that movies portray and then make us teenagers have super high expectations and make us feel like we need to sneak out at midnight and go on this late night drive and sit on the roof and watch the sunrise all that crap that movies do and it makes teenagers feel crappy because it makes us feel like our lives suck and are boring even though it's freaking movies obviously they're gonna be exciting and cool um whoa <laughs> but you know it was still a fun weekend trying to make my high school expectations come true they didn't really come true but uh it kind of did okay i'm gonna go eat my pudding and watch gilmore girls and then go to bed um i hope you guys have a good day bye <laughs>